Let's talk about email. Fantastic. David, David how is your email inbox doing? Exploding. <laughs> That's what it's doing on a daily basis. I think I may have over 500 emails in my inbox right now. Wow. Are you using your email inbox as a to-do list as well? I was initially, but then I started getting so many emails that I had to continually clear it. So I took the to-dos out a separate place. But if you, with the spam and the client mails and the internal mail, um, every day it's a battle. So I spend a good part of my day cleaning out my inbox for the next wave of, of email that's coming in. So there's a real issue, and you're not the first person to voice it, uh, there's a real issue with the overload of email actually ruining productivity. There are people out there who are taking active steps to combat this. Bravo. And I'll give you a couple of them. One of them is um, there's a, a campaign called Two Sentences. And they are kind of a grassroots movement to try to get people to limit their emails to two sentences. Okay. And then if it's going to be more than two sentences, you pick up the phone and you, or you use another mean of, means of communication, like you actually go visit your coworker. Email has a place. I don't necessarily prescribe to this two-line two, e two line email, four-line. I have line. trouble with it, too. Um, it sounds a lot like text messaging to me. Yeah. And there are a lot of times that email is very handy. Um, the exchange of information that email provides uh, is invaluable, and I don't believe that we can replicate the sheer volume of communication and the, the, the numbers of people that we can reach in any other medium as efficient as efficiently. But there's got to be some other trade-offs. So I want to hear some of these other things, but I, right, well, right now I'm liking some of the stuff I'm hearing right now. Well, here's the, here's the, the trade-offs. Or actually, here's, there's a couple of tools you can use. In our company, we've implemented uh, an internal corporate uh, chatting, instant messaging mm -hmm. uh, system. And it doesn't include anyone from the outside. It's only people inside of our company. And what's nice is, is that you can just quickly reach anyone, no matter, almost no matter where they are. You know, as long as they have a laptop and it's on, and you need just a quick bit of information to keep on with the task that you are working on, so you don't lo lose too much focus by sending an email, waiting for, waiting for it, or watching it get forwarded around just for a little bit of information, you can just quickly text message the person. And um, I think that's been really, really useful for us. I do believe that organizations internally uh, should be looking at instant messaging. I think it's a fantastic medium. I think if you find the right solution, it can jump your productivity to a place that leaps you away from mail. I'm not advocating replacing email by any stretch. I mean, to me, these are things that can coexist yeah. and hopefully can take a little bit of the load off of your inbox. Um, the other thing, and I think this is still experimental, but there's something to it, is the idea of video chatting. Now, this seems to work not necessarily if you're in the same office, but when you have people either out in the field or if you have people in multiple offices. Look, video chat is not new. Right? I know. And it's very interesting. What's interesting about it is video, it's video chatting is this what's old is new again mm -hmm. type technology. And, uh, you know, solutions like Skype or Ubu have really made video chatting something that is actually a viable option for smaller businesses to use to communicate, which is very yeah. interesting. Yeah, they're cheaper than they were, and they let you have multiple people on the screen now, which they never, this, that's actually new. Well, I think the most important thing that is going to affect any of this is the organization has to have a stance on it. If you want help on any of those three fronts, either setting up the policies and procedures, um, implementing instant messaging technologies, or video chat technologies, um, give us a call. We can help. Thank you.